play. Okay. We're looking at 7.5. We did divi we did div dividing by 10s, 5s, 2s, and 3s. Now we're dividing by 4. So if you're looking at your multiplication chart, primarily what row are we going to look at? The 4 row. 4 is going to be our divisor. Okay? That's the primary goal of this lesson is dividing by 4. So it says a tree farmer plants 12 Red maple trees. Caleb, get her on the right page. You got to flip it for her. She don't know how to find her page. A tree farmer plants 12 red maple trees in four equal rows. Circle these. How many trees are in each row? So it says, what strategy you could use to so solve the problem? Well, they want us to do an array. So let's do, we can make an array. Make and array we can make an array they want us to make an array down below so what strategy you can do is make an array ready now they'll come back quick so make an array they they did four down why would we do four down Troy, look at our two numbers at the top. Why don't we do four down? What are the trees in? How many rows? Four equal rows. So we're, we count four down. What are we going to count to, Willow? Twelve. So we already have four. So make your uh, array, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So Aubrey, we have four down. How many do we have across? Three. So how many trees are in each row? Say it again. Nope. Four rows, but how many in each row? Oh, just said it. There we go. So there's 12 total, four rows of three. Our division problem is 12 divided by four equals three, or it looks like this. 12 total, four rows, three in each row. 389. You definitely have the wrong button. We're in math. Caleb, what's our divisor in 12 divided by 4 equals 3? I'll give you a hint. While, while she's getting this page and copied down, I'll, I'll tell you how I told the class. And I didn't tell them, on t I told them in person. We have a divisor. We have a, what's the other word called? I'll give you a hint. Dividend. So we have the dividend. And then we have the quotient. So, Caleb, the dividend is the number we want to put an end to. Okay. So we want to put an end to the big bad bully. So who, who's the big number in 12 divided by 4? 12 is the dividend. The divisor, well, I always say divide sword is the little number going to put an end to them. And whatever they make is called the quotient. So when I say give me the quotient, that's the answer to a division problem. Like product is the answer to a multiplication problem. OK? Can you not find it yet? All right. I'll go back for that one in a minute. Now, it says make equal groups. Draw one counter in each group and continue until we have 12 in. So now, the same way. These are like our four rows. If you go through and count till we get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
It's the same way. Three. When you, as you get good at it, you'll know automatically. I know how many is going to go in there without even counting. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. All right, next page. It says use factors to find uh, 12 divided by 4. Factors are is multiplication, okay? Okay. It says use factors to find 12 divided by 4. The factors of 4 are 2 and 2, okay? So what they, they did, they took our divisor and they broke it up into 2 and 2. To, we're, ne we're never going to use this way, so this way is tough. To divide by 4, use the factors. 14 divided by 4 equals n. Divide by 2, which shows you 12 divided by 2 is 6. Bring that down. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 12 divided by 2 is 3. They just split it up. I don't see us doing that way often. I've, I didn't do that way, and that way is, adds a lot more steps. Now, this way is... Is, is a way that we know. They took 12 divided by four equals N and they switched it. The divisor turned into the product. So now we have four times what equals 12? And it is three, okay? Every time I write a multiplication problem, I always say, if we have 12 divided by four equals three, equals three, this shows three times four equals 12. Okay, if you just write it backwards. That's how I always check my answers too. The next one says divide the factors of four, two and two. So what they did, they took 16 divided by four, made it 16 divided by two. What's 16 divided by two, Jack? Eight. Eight. What's A divided by two, Jack? Next page. Four. So, final answer, 16 divided by four is going to be four. That's the factor method. We're probably, we're gonna stray away from that a little bit unless it asks for it. Okay, so uh, Cortland, it's eight, four, four on the top of or at the in the middle of 390. I'll let you go back with Aubrey and copy in a minute. All right, Troy, it's simple. They already made the array. 12, 28 divided by 4, what is it? Yeah, 844. 28 divided by 4, what is it? 7. Good. How'd you find that, Troy? What, what did you have to, what did you, what did you count? You counted how many are in each? Row. So we have four rows, seven across. All right, we're going to go quick on this, so you might have to use your multiplications. McKenna, 21 divided by three? Seven. David, eight divided by four? Willow, 40 divided by 5? Good. Jack, 24 divided by 4? Look, look, try again. Yeah, use your chart. Well, I'm going to get a chance. I know you know, Troy. Six. Good. All right. Ada Lee. 20 divided by four equals A. What's A going to equal? Five. Good. Aubrey, 12 divided by 2 equals P. What's P going to equal? Good. Adeline, 
27 divided by 3 equals triangle. What's triangle going to equal? What you come up with? Aubrey, help her out. Nine. Caleb, 12 divided by four equals T. What's T equal? Three. Were you skip counting? Okay, I thought you were. You you, you can do both. It's easy. All right, Cortland. Thirty divided by ten is. This one's easy to skip count. We're on the next page. We're on page 391. Follow along. So, Cortland, what's 30 divided by 10? Nope. Well, we're going through. 30 divided by 10. This one's easy, Cortland. Look at me. Skip count 10 to 30. 10. Three. This one you can skip count pretty easy too, Troy. What's 15 divided by five? Three. McKenna, 40 divided by four? What'd you say? 10. David. 16 divided by 2? 8. Willow. 12 divided by 3? That's good. Jack, 20 divided by 4? Adelie, 16 divided by 4? Four, good. Uh, Aubrey, five, 25 divided by five? Good. Adeline, 45 divided by five equals B. What's B gonna equal? Good. Caleb, 20 divided by 10 equals E. What's E equal? Two. You skip count? Yeah. Either way. Cortland, eight. Cortland, eight divided by two. It equals square. What's square going to be? What is 8 divided by 2? Use your chart. Get the next one before I get it ready. Nope, keep going. Find 2 and then go down to 8 and then go over. There we go. 
Troy, 24 divided by three. Hey, we got it down. All right, so we're going to do a um, table. So, McKenna, nine divided by three is? Three. David, 12 divided by three is? You guys see a pattern right here? Three, six, what's going to go here? McKenna, what's going to go next? Keep going, McKenna. Actually, no, it ain't. Three, six, nine. Oh, we're, we're definitely, we're not, we're not right. We did, we'll do a multiplication. My apologies. <laughs> now, what's 12 divided by three, David? For once, yeah, these kids are freezing. I'm hot. <laughs> okay. David, 12 divided by 3. 4. Now do we see a pattern, Willow? 3, 4. What's going to go here? What's going to go next? There we go. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Willow, start us off on the next one. 20 divided by 4 is... Five. Jack, what's 24 divided by four? Six. Y'all see a pattern? Five, six. What comes next? Anybody? Seven. Lastly? That's the patterns. Now. This is going to be a tough one. It's the use reasoning part. We've got to, let's reverse this, okay? It gives us the product or the quotient, but we're going to switch it, okay? So now we have 14 divided by what equals 7? Well, let's do this, uh, Aubrey or Adelie. 7 times what equals 14? 2. That is right. Aubrey, six times what equals 30? Find your six column and go down to 30 and then go over. Tell me what number you get. Five. Adelie, Adeline, two times what equals eight? We're just going backwards. Find your two, go down to eight, and go over. No, that's two times eight. Find your two column and go down to eight. Tell me what number you stopped on. Same way we've been doing. Four, good. Caleb, eight times, yep, three. 24 divided by three does equal eight. Cortland, 36 divided by what equals 9, or 9 times what equals 36? So go to your 9 column, go to your 9s, go down to 36 and go over. Tell me what number you're stopping on. Nine to thirty-six. I know some people's already going through all this. Good. Troy, forty times divided. What? Got it. Off the rip. Better. It's. Two, five, four, three, four, ten. Oh, okay. Um, you can go up and sit in front of Caleb real quick. Okay, until we finish this lesson. All right, cool. uh, McKenna, three divided by what is one or one times what equals three? 
one times what equals three? Three. And three divided by three is one. David. 35 divided by what is seven or seven? What? Copy right now. Well, I'll let you go back in a minute. Copy right now. Set, no. Three times what is 35? Three or seven. I'm sorry. So, seven times what is 35? You said it. You just said it. You're right. You said it. Good. Guys, that's the toughest part of this lesson was trying to figure that out. But if you know, if we know we can do it backwards and we know multiplication tables, it's going to be a lot easier. I, um, Willow. Mr. Benz arranges 24 music stands in his class. He puts the stands in four equal rows. How many stands are in each row? What's our equation going to be? 24 what? Which equals? Six what? Music stands. Good. 24 divided by four equals six music stands. Jack, you want to go deeper question? Um, yeah. oh, I'm glad you said yes. You had no choice. Monty has 16 toy cars in four equal groups and 24 toy, toy boats in three equal groups. How many more toy boats are in each group than toy cars? So, he has 16 toy cars in four equal groups. So this is the equation, and I'll help you with this. We have toy cars, right? So I'm going to write TC right here for toy cars. How many does he have total? 16. And there are how many uh, groups of how many equal groups? OK, that's our equation. Don't solve it yet. How many TB for toy boats, right? How many toy, toy boats does he have, Jack? And how many rows or groups? Good. So now we got to solve these and find out how many more boats than cars. So go ahead and try to solve. You have to have two equations and find out how many more. Does anybody solve? How many toy, what's toy cars equal? Good. Willow, what's toy boats equal? Eight. So what's the final answer gonna be? What, what, what do I have to do with these two numbers if I gotta figure out how many more, Caleb? But how'd you find four out? Say, I saw. Uh, I went skip counting. What'd you do? Yes. What makes four more? Finally, he took. He found his answers, and he subtracted because it says how many more. Okay, we know there's more toy boats. Toy boats, but how many more? So you got to have all this down, guys. Okay. Um, Adelie, you got the next good deep question. Good luck. This one's tough. Mia put 15 animal stickers in three equal groups in her sticker book. She put 28 flower stickers in four equal groups. How many more? 
flower stickers than animal stickers are in each row. So what's the first thing we have to do? We're doing it kind of the same way we just did it. We're going to divide. We're going to divide two things, animal stickers and flower stickers. So I'm going to write A for animal and F for flower. What is my animal sticker um, equation, Adelie? 15 divided by 3. What is my flower sticker equation, Adelie? 28 divided by 4. Great job. You guys make this look easy. Now, if we solve that, I want to see some of you guys already working on solving. Once you find out how many more, you're going to have to take flower stickers and do the same thing you just did from boats to cars. What do you got, McKen? What's the, is that the final answer? Wait, how, what did you get for animal stickers? 15 divided by three, what is that? Uh, what's, what's 28 divided by four? Seven, okay, we got that. Uh, Willow, what's 15 divided by three? Five. So, Adelie, we have our two answers. What am I going to do with this? We don't want to add. How many more? Subtract 7 minus 5, which, which equals 2 more. Just like that. Look at all this math we're doing. Right. So, look, guys. We did our two equations, and then we solved. Doing these two equations is not the final answer, okay? Courtland, you got a copy? Troy, you got it? Good for Troy. I'll let you go back, Courtland. You got to stay on task. Aubrey, you got another, we got another go deeper question. It says, we're looking at these um, this chart now, okay? So it says, Douglas planted the birch trees in four equal rows. Then he added two more birch trees to each row. How many birch trees did he plant? So. Because I want you to challenge it. So look, how many birch trees do we have? Aubrey. We have, he has 16, right? Um, and how many equal rows do we have? So what's the what's this answer? We're not done yet. What's this answer going to be? First off, how many is in each row, uh, Aubrey? Do what? Yeah, but there's 16 total with four in each row. So how many is in each row? Four. Good. So he has four in each row. That's great. But he went through and he added two more birch trees in each row. So right now he has four in each row. If he adds two more to that, how many is going to be in each row, Troy? Six. So it's four plus two which equals six birch trees. How many plants trees did he plant in each row? It's now it's six. He had four, but he added two to it. Does anyone know how many birch trees he would have now? If he has six rows now, or four rows of six. Nope. Not, nope. Aubrey, 24. He would have 24, yes. The next one. Adeline. Miss Banks planted the oak trees in four equal rows. Mr. Red planted the dogwood trees in three equal rows. Who planted more tree in each rows? How, how many more? So let's find our total first. How many oak trees do we have, uh, Adeline? Do what? No, we have, look up here. 
How many oak trees do we have? Adeline, good. O, I'm gonna write oak right here. So he has 28 oak. And how many dogwood do we have, Caleb? I'm right DW for dogwood. 24. So, how many rows did they did Mr. Miss Banks put the oak in, Jack? Miss Banks put the oak trees in how many rows? Just give me a number. Four, good. Willow. Mr. Webb put the dogwoods in how many rows? Three. So we're going to see who planted more trees in each row. Is it going to be Miss Webb and the oak or Mr. Webb, Miss Banks and the oak or Mr. Webb and the dogwood? Aubrey, what's what'd you come up with for oak? Seven, good. So what about for the dogwood? Willow? Eight. So who planted more, dogwood or oak? Willow? And who planted the dogwood? Mr. Webb. So Mr. Webb? Mr. Webb? Planted, and how many more is it? One more. Mr. Webb planted one more. Mr. Webb planted one more. You guys are rolling today. I don't know if Yeah, or maybe y'all drink much coffee. All right, we got it. Wait, wait, we got to copy it down. We got to copy down what? Oh, that's that's good. All right, this this is our last big one. So it says Brian earns forty dollars mowing lawns each week. He earns the same amount of money for each. If he earns the same amount of money for each lawn. If he mows four lawns, how much money does Brian earn for each lawn? So he earns $40 a week mowing lawns. He mowed four lawns, okay? He mowed four lawns. Four lawns. And they equal $40. What number can go in here? It has to be the same number. And this, it also could look a little bit like this. 40 divided by four. What number, Willow? $10 each line. If I put a 10 in each of these, 10, 20, good, 30, 40. So he makes $10. Make sure your dollar sign is before the number. $10 on each lawn. Dollar sign goes before. I see some of you guys putting it after and it's not right. He makes $10 on each lawn. Make sure you spell lawn right. Yeah, if, if it's in the problem and you can't spell it right, that's that's being lazy. The true or false, we're going to see if we can go quick on it. McKenna, zero divided by four is four. True or false? False. Anything divided by zero will be what, McKenna? Just like multiplication. If it's multiplied by zero, it's going to be... If it's divided by zero, it's going to be... Say it again. Zero. David, four divided by four equals one? True. 
Willow, 20 divided by 4 equals 6. True or false? What? False. Lastly, 24 divided by 4 equals 8, Jack. Huh? 24 divided by 4. False. Good. What, uh, Cortland? Oh, okay. Let me stop my recording real quick.